Amazon River, located in South America, is the largest river basin in the world. I visited the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. I went through their extensive rainforest exhibit and traveled down into the Steinhardt Aquarium. Here, as well as from a few other sources, I learned much about the Amazon. Things such as the extremely nutrient-rich sediment, the predictable flooding of miles of rainforest, and even the effects that human habitation has on the river, such as building homes on the actual water and using the river for everyday chores, and essentially as a sewer. This causes some species to flourish near the people, while others are driven to the deepest parts of the forest by the pollution. Also, there are more fish species in the Amazon River than in the entire Atlantic Ocean. Over 2,000 species. Many of these species are predators in some way. Only some are true herbivores. Most are at least omnivorous to some extent. The few true herbivores of the Amazon are usually small fish, such as silver dollars and angelfish. Fish that are technically classified as omnivores, but are usually vegetarian, are things such as the Paku, Disc Tetra, and Banded Leporinus. With so many fish being predatory, the small fish, as well as the arthropods and invertebrates they and other fish feed on, are keystone species. The fruit trees that grow along the banks and in the flooded forest are as well. With so much biodiversity in one area, it is difficult to name any specific species that are keystone species, but one definite one is the freshwater dolphin. It feeds on the larger predators, keeping their numbers in check. The dolphins, with things like caiman, are top predators. Below them are other deadly predators. Fish, like the arapaima, which can grow to be between 6 and 8 feet long, or the massive red-tailed catfish, even the infamous red-bellied piranha, which hunts in packs and can feed on animals many times its size. With over 60 different subspecies in the piranha family though, most of them being primarily vegetarian, the red-bellied piranha is an exception. Below our secondary consumers are our primary consumers like the paku, and then the primary producers, the plants. Another interesting fish from the Amazon River is the electric eel, which isn't actually an eel, it's a fish similar to a lungfish. It creates electric shocks using three specialized organs, two of which are meant for shocks to stun prey, while one is used for navigating and communication. Freshwater stingrays are also extremely interesting. The one with the dark skin with the bright yellow spots, known as a big tooth river stingray, is actually a really good indicator species, as it is sensitive to pollution and moves out of high pollution areas. Other good indicator species are things like the rummy nose tetra, which are extremely sensitive to chemical changes in the water, along with the Surinam toad as well. Freshwater dolphins are also good indicator species because they will migrate based on the change of fish population. There are things besides fish in the waters of the Amazon, such as this anaconda, one of the most massive snakes in the world. With the river flooding the forest up to 66 feet at times, the river is truly a massive aquatic habitat. The Amazon River is an extremely diverse and nutrient-filled river that regularly floods large expanses of rainforest and has a huge number of plant and animal species. It is truly one of the most expansive and spectacular ecosystems of this world. <laughs>